knocked down myself this time. And every time. Is that an arc reactor? It's something else I haven't invented yet. Jonathan Majors indeed made a splash in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with his role as He Who Remains in Loki, setting the stage for Kang the Conqueror's arrival. However, recent events have cast a shadow over his future in the MCU due to legal issues. Despite this setback, the MCU has a history of recasting roles, as seen with characters like Hulk and War Machine. Additionally, Kang's nature as a multiversal entity allows for flexibility in casting, meaning his character could easily be portrayed by a different actor without disrupting continuity. Alternatively, the MCU could explore a different angle by introducing Iron Lad, a younger version of Kang the Conqueror. This approach would provide an opportunity for a fresh take on the character while still maintaining ties to Kang's legacy. Regardless of the path chosen, it's clear that Kang's presence in the MCU will continue to be significant, even if portrayed by a different actor or through a different iteration of the character. But who can it be? They do need to look a bit, at least a bit. So the choice is British actor John Boyega. John Boyega is an accomplished British actor who burst onto the scene in 2011 with the comedy horror flick Attack the Block. Although he initially took on smaller roles in projects like Becoming Human and Imperial Dreams, Boyega shot to international fame as Finn in the Star Wars sequel trilogy, starting with Episode 7, The Force Awakens. While Finn's character development has been a point of contention for some, Boyega's portrayal undeniably catapulted him to stardom. Since then, Boyega has continued to shine on the big screen, starring in movies like Pacific Rim Uprising and the recent Netflix hit They Clone Tyrone. His talent and charisma have made him one of the most recognizable actors in the world today, and Boyega's comments, made in response to the speculation, have only fueled the belief that he'd be a perfect fit for the character. After all, Boyega has proven his chops in science fiction with roles in blockbuster hits, and his versatility in both comedic and dramatic roles would make him a compelling MCU villain. Although it may seem unlikely for Boyega to step into the role of the time-traveling juggernaut, fans can still dream. After all, in the world of superhero movies, anything is possible, and in my book, actor John Boyega as Iron Lad is definitely possible. But who is Iron Lad? Iron Lad, also known as Nathaniel Nate Richards, is essentially a teenage version of Kang the Conqueror, equipped with a biometal suit that he controls with his mind. The character draws inspiration from his ancestor, who shares the same name. So what's his origin story? 16-year-old Nathaniel Nate Richards finds himself at a crossroads when he's saved by his older self, the notorious Kang the Conqueror, just moments before bullies would have inflicted a life-altering injury on him. Kang, hoping to shape his younger self into a formidable successor, takes Nate on a journey through time to witness the battles and triumphs that led to his transformation into Kang the Conqueror. However, the plan goes awry when Nate is appalled by the darkness of his future self's actions. Refusing to accept the path laid out for him, Nate rebels against Kang's influence, when Kang pushes Nate to commit an act of violence to solidify his future, Nate instead seizes the time travel technology bestowed upon him and escapes to the past, determined to rewrite his own destiny and avoid becoming the villainous Kang. Desperate for guidance, Nate turns to the Avengers for help, only to discover that the team has disbanded. Determined to find answers, he taps into the remnants of the destroyed Vision's operating system, uncovering a hidden fail-safe plan. This plan, devised by Vision, aims to reunite the Avengers by locating a new generation of heroes with ties to the original team. Drawing inspiration from this plan, Nate takes on the mantle of Iron Lad and recruits a team of young heroes, the Young Avengers. Together, they embark on a mission to thwart Nate's future self and rewrite his destiny. Modeled after Iron Man and armed with his own suit of armor, Nate leads the charge against evil forming close bonds with his teammates along the way. Among these connections is a romantic relationship with Cassie Stature Lang, another member of the Young Avengers, as they join forces to confront the challenges ahead and shape a brighter future for themselves and the world. In a fateful showdown with Kang, 
Nate refuses to return to his destined path as the infamous villain, despite Kang's relentless pursuit. With the help of his Young Avengers teammates, they confront the formidable Growing Man, a creation of Kang's, and emerge victorious after a hard-fought battle. As the confrontation escalates, Kang faces off against the combined forces of the Avengers and the teen heroes. In a decisive moment, Iron Lad delivers a fatal blow to Kang, sacrificing himself to save the timeline. However, the consequences of his actions ripple through the fabric of time, resulting in unforeseen changes. Tragically, the aftermath of Kang's demise leads to devastating losses, including the deaths of all the Avengers and the disappearance of young Avengers Wiccan and Hulkling. Additionally, Jessica Jones suffers the heartbreak of losing her baby. Realizing the only way to restore balance is to embrace his destiny as Kang the Conqueror, Nate makes the ultimate sacrifice. Before returning to his time, he bids farewell to his teammates and leaves behind his armor, now transformed into a new sentient being, an inexperienced young vision named Jonas. This new vision carries Nate's memories and brain patterns, akin to the original vision and Wonder Man. As Cassie and Jonas navigate their relationship, they find themselves drawn to each other, initially influenced by Nate's lingering mental imprint. Over time, their bond deepens and they begin a romantic relationship. During a battle against the Absorbing Man, who has been altered by the Cosmic Cube during the Dark Reign storyline, Jonas, now a member of both the Young Avengers and the Mighty Avengers, is affected by the Cube's cosmic radiation. This exposure leads to a dramatic split, separating Jonas into both Iron Lad and the original Vision. Despite this division, Iron Lad retains memories of the events leading up to his journey back in time. Together with the Young Avengers and other heroes, they confront the Absorbing Man and emerge victorious. Following the battle, the original Vision and Iron Lad merge back together, reverting to their combined form as the new Vision once more. Iron Lad's complex journey continues in the 2010-12 miniseries Avengers The Children's Crusade. In a crucial moment, he intervenes to stop Wolverine from killing an amnesiac and depowered Wanda Maximoff, arguing that their survival is vital for the future. During the series, Cassie's deceased father Scott Lang is saved from the past, but tragically, Cassie herself is killed. Determined to save her, Iron Lad proposes traveling back in time. When Jonas protests, Iron Lad kills him, a decision the Young Avengers warn may set him on a path to becoming Kang the Conqueror. Defiantly, Iron Lad vows to be better than Kang and disappears into the time stream. Adopting the name Kid Immortus, Nate later assists Doctor Doom by providing information about the Future Foundation. He is seen alongside a young Ravona, a significant figure in Kang's mythology. Despite his efforts, Doom's plan fails, and Iron Lad returns to rescue Captain America from the time stream. In the Time Runs Out storyline, he, alongside his future counterparts, Kang the Conqueror and Immortus, attempts to imprison Captain America to prevent him from disrupting the Illuminati's plan to save Earth by destroying alternate worlds. However, Captain America escapes their grasp. In a subsequent storyline, Iron Lad joins the Exiles series alongside original member Blink and new recruits like Wolvie, Sharon Carter, and Valkyrie. Together, they battle a multiversal conglomerate of Kangs known as the Time Eater. In a heroic act, Iron Lad sacrifices himself to save the rest of the Exiles from a group of rogue watchers, solidifying his legacy as a hero willing to go to great lengths for the greater good. Iron Lad's story is definitely a fantastic and compelling journey that would be amazing to see on the big screen. His evolution from a young hero trying to avoid a dark destiny to a key player in multiverse adventures offers a rich narrative full of drama, action, and emotional depth. A standalone movie could explore his complex relationship with his future self, his time with the Young Avengers, and his heroic sacrifices. Would you like to see Iron Lad in his own standalone movie? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.